you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. What's up lads, welcome to a new video. Today we'll have you with something totally different that you haven't seen on my channel before. Now when I live stream on Twitch or on Twitter a lot, I get asked about people's teams. What do you think of my team? I have this amount of budget left. How can I improve my team? Who would you buy for this role, etc, etc? I get asked this a lot and it's actually something I wanted to try and address soon. And then I saw another YouTuber by the name of Sheesh FIFA actually uh, start making content on this where he would essentially rate people's teams and I thought it was a fantastic idea. So I wanted to do something very similar and that is what we're doing now. Maybe once or twice a week, I'm going to be uploading videos like this where I just basically look at your teams in a video, give you guys advice based on what I would personally do just on my opinion and showcase your teams to everyone else so they can give you advice and comments in the description in the comment section down below and whatnot. Now the easiest way to do this is by tweeting me a HD screenshot. I can't use uh, images from your phones or from the companion app or from Footbin or Foothead or anything like that. The easiest way you do this is by pressing on your uh, PlayStation the share button, going over to screenshot, taking a screenshot of your team, it saves it to gallery and then going onto Twitter and tweet me using the hashtag it's Haber and I'll find your tweet and uh, showcase you guys in. in your tweet, leave like a, a brief description, how many coins you have and who's untradeable, and I will go through and rate your teams. Now, I thought it'd be fun for the first episode to uh, for you guys to rate my team, I guess. Now, my team is, of course, like a 16 million coin god squad. I have about a million coins spare, so what would you do with my team? How would you upgrade it? And uh, I'll feature some comments in the next video of people, you know, telling me how they'd upgrade my team. I thought it'd be a great way to to kind of open this series up. And I've got a few teams on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow me at Haber, link in the description. Um, but in terms of untradeable, everyone in this team's untradeable. Literally every single player. Every single player is an untradeable. Uh, all of these are from Icon SBC, the Player of the Year SBC from Player Year Van Dyke, and the uh, Eredivisie SBC for Dumfries. So. I thought it'd be a cool way to do it. Let's get into some of the teams that you guys have tweeted me and give me, give you my advice. I can't even say that right. Give you my advice on, on who I'd change and whatnot. For those curious, this is my Twitter account. If you guys do want to follow me on Twitter, this is uh, the best place to interact with me. Ask me questions and whatnot. I tweet all the time. I'm always on Twitter and I'm always sort of active and whatnot. So now is like... Not now, sorry. This is the best place. I was going to say now is the best time, but this is the best place to, uh, to to sort of interact with me and whatnot. So as you see here, I tweeted out and I, I've got a bunch of people tweet me. Unfortunately, a lot of people tweeted me uh, screenshots of like the web app and stuff like that. So I can't help you with that. Um, but this is the sort of image that I would like or would have liked. This is the first team. It's actually a really dope looking team. Uh, he's got the Future Stars Aura, I want to say. Aura. Um, off chemistry, actually. He's got Pogba. He's got... Foot birthday Douglas Costa, the flashback Danny Alves. Now looking at this team, I'm guessing Douglas Costa is from Foot Birthday. Um, not Foot Birthday, sorry, Foot Swap. Um, I'm guessing uh, the, all the icons or the, both the icons are untradeable. I'm guessing, for example, um, David Luiz is untradeable, obviously, because they have to be. But he plays a 4-4-2 in game. He plays best at right mid and Douglas Costa at left mid, Ronaldo Ibra up top, or Awa and Pogba at centre mid. Now, don't know if he actually has a lot of coins to, to, to work with. Um, I know RK. Uh, like to do a lot of SBC, so I can't imagine he actually has too much to work with. Personally, what I would look to do here is actually, I was a sick card. Um, what I would try and do is maybe get Kante in at left centre mid instead of Pogba because he's got more of a defensive uh, work rate as opposed to Pogba. Pogba's great in the game, but Alwar's going to win you more headers and whatnot. So you don't need to worry about a big player. You want someone maybe more um, agile and, and better in terms of defensive, and that, I'd say, is Kante. Um, I think that with a 4-4-2, you don't realistically need an attacking and a defensive midfielder. I would personally go with two defensive midfielders and let the left mid and right mid kind of do their work with cutting inside and whatnot, as you sort of central attackers as well as your strikers. So that's what I'd personally do. I would probably switch them. Uh, next change I would make, Blanc, in my opinion, isn't great. I wasn't a big fan of Blanc. He started out well, but he kind of decayed a little bit and, and he's not great against pacey attackers, in my opinion. I would look to possibly complete the Desai SBC. Desai is a lot better than Blanc, in my opinion. I really rate Desai. So if you can, I would do that. And if not, then obviously keep Blanc and uh, and work with what you have, basically. But uh, but apart from that, no, I think it's a really, really nice squad. And I think you've done really well with what you've got to work with. Uh, Ronaldo is a fantastic player in this game. It's unfortunate, of course, you can't get Alwa, Ibra and Best in on full chemistry. But that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Aside from that, I do like the team a lot. And... Uh, and yeah, let's get into the next one. The next team is actually from Gizla Legend, a fellow content creator, and he's got his full first owner team, which I think is actually a really nice team. Uh, in terms of players that are pack pulled, 
He's got the team of the year. Ramos, a very nice pack pull. He's got Baby Hierro, who, you know, he's a little... I guess Baby Hierro is probably letting him down a little bit. It does help for chemistry. However, I'm guessing that card lets him down just a bit. In my opinion, I would personally swap those over. So you've got Ramos on the left because Ramos will then get full chemistry. Unfortunately, it won't leave uh, David Silva getting full chemistry, but... I would personally do that. You've got Boateng in centre mid already that you can bring back to centre back. I would then look to maybe get, if you have the SBC uh, flashback David Luiz using him, although it doesn't seem like you do. So I would look to then possibly find a German player that it, that starts as a centre back, or maybe look for that upper Menko card who looks decent and try and work them in. Uh, obviously, it's difficult if you've got a lot of coins and go with an icon. If not, you kind of got to go with with what you have. That David Silva, in my opinion, isn't fantastic. Um, again, with Royce as well, like the stamina is an issue, but it's a decent team nonetheless. It is a very nice team. I think what's difficult and what I've struggled with this year is when you start going first owner only and you start doing SBCs and whatnot. You run into a difficult patch where you have no players to, to do SBCs with. You don't have coins and you have to use the same team over and over again. And it gets very boring and it actually, uh, when FIFA gets boring, people typically start to play worse. So if I were you, I would personally try and spice the team up a little bit. I think Baby Hierro is probably a weak link. Apart from that, it's a very nice team. I wonder how that Alfonso Davies is for you. I'd love, to, I'd love to know that. And of course, this is obviously only my opinion as well. If you guys have different opinions, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, you can help a lot of people out with your opinions as well. It's, it's not just my opinion, you know. This is, this is a community effort. This is a community, you know. The next one is from Trading Fave on Twitter. And he has given me a, a sneaky look into his team. He plays a 4-2-3-1 in game with Kante and Milinkovic-Savic at CDMs. He plays Hullet, uh, he plays Ebra, and he plays, uh, I forget that guy's name, Philippe Anderson, there you go, at Cams, and then he plays R9 Ronaldo up top. Now, this is a fantastic team, and I'm guessing with this team, you probably have some coins laying around, considering your name is Trading Fave. You know, it's just an assumption I'd make. I would personally, apologies for the noise, I don't know if you guys hear that or not, but for some reason, I think I think my mic arm needs, uh, needs oiling a little bit. I would personally look to upgrade Sol Campbell and Blanc. Wasn't a fan of either of those centre-backs when I used them. Um, I would personally look to try and upgrade those two. Uh, aside from that, it's a very nice team. If you have the coins, this is this is, this is is only if you have the coins. I'd go with Team of the Year Veron and Team of the Year... Team of the Year Veron. Team of the Year Varan and Team of the Year Ramos. And if not, obviously go with lesser versions of both of those cards. Team of the Season is around the corner and they'll get Team of the Season. So if you can hold on, go for them. If not, then I'd go for like their Team of the Years or any kind of version of them you can afford. They would both work on chemistry. The only person that wouldn't get Kevin there is probably De Gea. Um, I would then maybe look to get Courtois in net. Courtois is a good player in, in this game. He's a good uh, he's a good goalkeeper. Um, obviously, you might sacrifice a little bit of chem there with Kante, but apart from that, you're uh, you're probably going to get decent chemistry there. Um, so I would personally look to possibly do that, or maybe go with a uh, on the left, maybe a. I don't know, maybe a, maybe a Ramos on the right, maybe a Desai. I know I keep going on about Desai, but he's a fantastic card. I'm a big fan of Desai in this game. Um, so I would look to do that. Apart from that, it's a solid team. It's a very nice team. Um, I want to know, how is that Alonso for you? Let me know in the comments down below. How is that Alonso? Because that Alonso looks very good. I used it in an SBC early on because it made the SBC a lot cheaper. And I regret it because I didn't realize he was going to get such a really nice looking card. Uh, so now I use, obviously, Roberto Carlos. Uh, but I would love to have known how that is for you because... He's very difficult to play against when I play against him in weekend league. So that's 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 part for that for that team. Basically, that's all I have for that team. Uh, I think it's a very nice looking team, and evidently you do like your SBCs. So uh, it's a pretty decent card, pretty decent bench. Sorry. The next team is from. I apologise if I butcher your name. Hard Jadaps. I do apologize if I've messed that name up. It's a difficult name to, to pronounce, to be fair. Um, with this team, it's actually a really solid looking team. Um, he's playing a. I want to say a 4 triple 2 is that what he said? Yeah, 4 triple 2 in game. Um, he's using David Luiz and Rijkaard at CDMs. He's using William and, and Mkhitaryan at CAMs. And he's using Perisic and Arnautovic at two striker roles. That is a pretty scary team, if I say so myself. If I was coming up against that team, I would be a little bit worried because you've got the right players in the right positions everywhere. It's a very nice team. Um, Mkhitaryan, I know, is fantastic in this game. I regret not doing that SBC because it's a very nice card now. Uh, I know Perisic as well is a fantastic card. And you guys seem to really like your SBC card, so that's pretty interesting. If I was to upgrade this team, if you do have the coins, go with, for someone that isn't right card. Um, you know, obviously, you're looking to try and get an icon in that position to, to give you the chemistry. Roy Keane is a fantastic icon for very cheap. I was a big fan of Roy Keane when I used him. His prime version is a very, very good. 
Uh, Balak is also a decent card at CDM. Um, so I'd go for either of those. Maybe a Baby Blanc as well. Baby Blanc is a very, very good card at CDM. He's got a very decent card. Uh, aside from that, it's a very nice team. And I actually wouldn't change much at all, really. You've got pretty much what you have, what you need, sorry, in every position. You've got exactly what you need in all the right positions. Um, Allison was okay for me. I wasn't a huge fan of the 85 Allison. If you can upgrade, maybe upgrade to a different uh, goalkeeper. Obviously, you've got to try and get chemistry there. So uh, it's difficult. You've got to go with a, either a Brazilian or a Chelsea goalkeeper. I was a big fan of Edison. So that might be a good goalkeeper to go for. Apart from that, it's a very nice team, to be fair. I'm a big fan of it. The next team is from Suarez-esque on Twitter. Now, I love his team name. It's Don't Drop Back. I'm a big fan of that. This team looks fantastic. I can tell you've put a lot of time and effort into FIFA this year. He's got De Gea in net. He's got the Player of the Month, Van Dijk, which is a fantastic card. And Blanc at CD, uh, centre-back, sorry. CDMs are uh, Balak and Kante. Then he's got Lionel Messi, Prime Hullet. He's got Ebra, and then he's got that red 93 Suarez, and of course, Lala and Robertson at left back and right back. Very nice team indeed. Uh, the only change I would e ever make to this team realistically is a better centre back for Blanc. And I know I keep saying it, but Blanc isn't a great centre back. Um, I would go with possibly Desai. What I would also possibly recommend, actually, what something would work really well for you, I think, would be to swap Ebra and Messi, swap Balak and Kante, and then get Dumfries at right back. SBC Dumfries is a phenomenal card in my opinion. It's a very good right back and if you can, I would swap him in for that. If you can get a better left back during team of the season, do that as well. Obviously, Robertson's a great left back, but he lacks in tr uh, strength and jumping and height, which a lot of left backs do need. That's a lot, very hypocritical coming from me using Roberto Carlos, but I know that from experience. That Roberto Carlos lacks in the height and strength department, so I'd go for possibly, sorry, height and jumping department. I'd go for someone a little bit taller, maybe better jumping. Um, I've heard that the SBC Tierney card or Tierney, Kieran Tierney is a decent card as well. So if you swapped over Van Dyke and uh, and Blanc, if you were to get Dumfries, that would also work quite well in my opinion. So I'd personally look to do something like that. Apart from that, it's a solid team. I'd love to know how that Hullet plays for you because that card is an absolute monster on this game. So uh, pretty decent team, bro. Keep up the good work. The final team for this episode is actually a team from, I literally just saw, it's from Danny. I, I don't know why I had to relook at that. I knew the name. Um, but this is actually a really sick looking team. Obviously, he doesn't play this in game. He probably plays a 4-2-3-1 or maybe he plays a 4 2 2 and just changes uh, William and Kante. Regardless, I like how you're using that William to get uh, David Luiz on full cam. It's pretty recent. I see you've got the end of an era of Valencia. I'd love to know how that plays because I haven't done it yet. And I'm thinking about upgrading Dumfries from him. But Dumfries is a beast, and I'd need to know that Valencia is better, you know? Um, aside from that, it's actually a phenomenal team. Again, if you have coins, maybe upgrade in the Varane. It's probably not too worth it, because I'm guessing that UCL Varane's untradeable, so... You know, maybe not that worth it. Aside from that, I can't really see a whole lot that I would change in that team. It's a very, very nice team. Maybe just wait until team of the season and possibly get like a Tots Werner at striker. He'll be on full cam and be a better card. Maybe a Tots Royce at cam again. He'll be on full cam, better card. Even though that Royce is on full cam, he'll just be a better card. Um, Royce will eventually get a big stamina upgrade and he'll be fantastic in game after that. Um, it may be worth as well swapping. Uh, I know this will put um, David Luiz off chem, but swapping um, Willian and Rijkaard, swapping Kante and and Willian. So Willian's playing up top and then getting that Boateng, that football birthday Boateng in at CDM and then using that Boateng to, to swap with David Luiz in game. I think that'd be decent having uh, Deva Luis, CDM, Boateng, centre-back. Um, I think that'd be pretty solid. Again, it will leave a few plays off Ken, but you get to sell Kante. You get to release some coins there. Um, apart from that, it's a fantastic team. And they're just my opinions as well. So if you have enjoyed this video and you want it to continue on the channel, let me know down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. And if you have teams, don't forget to tweet me your screenshot, HD screenshot of the team. You have to. It has to be HD, otherwise I can't use it. It has to be like uh, 1920 by 1080. Use either your PlayStation or Xbox if you don't have an Elgato capture device. Then use your PlayStation or Xbox screenshot service. It's not difficult. If you do need to look it up how to do it, then there will be tutorials on YouTube. Um, tweet me using the hashtag It's Haber for, uh, for a feature in the video, and I'll feature a bunch of teams in the next video. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.